what I'm about to tell you is right under everybody's nose. There's a five second window between the instincts, the shoulds, the urges, the inner wisdom, the things that can change your life if you listen to it. You've got a five second window from the moment you feel that instinct to move. And if you don't, your brain is actually designed to kill it. So if you're in the middle of a difficult conversation and you feel those feelings come up that normally trigger you to start editing yourself or to censor yourself or to silence yourself or to think sabotaging thoughts and like a business negotiation, five, four, three, two, one, awaken the prefrontal cortex, mm. get back in the game. A lot of people think that confidence is a personality trait. It's not. It's actually a skill that you build through action. And a lot of people think confidence is a state of belief. It can be. But that's not where it begins. I say that confidence is the willingness to try. That's all that it is. Mm. Knowing that you may succeed or survive, but you'll still try. All those people that we admire most, that's what they're doing. They have the ability to tune into those instincts that are true for them. Because the fact is, there's only one you. That's it. And you matter because there's only one you and there's only ever going to be one you and your instincts and your experiences and your inner wisdom is a gift to the world and every time that you tune it out because of the habit of hesitating or the habit of self-doubt or the habit of worrying or the habit of overthinking you are robbing the world of that gift that you have to, to give to everybody and you can use this simple stupid silly tool to train yourself to not only hear it, but also to develop the skill of courage to act on it.